Hi everyone, welcome back to Pause to Read. Today we're going to be reading Short Adventures of a Long Dog, but before we get started, I want to give you the chance to try to figure out what dog we're going to be talking about. Can you recognize this breed? Let's see, what do you think about the body or the face? Is it tall? Does he look like he's very big? Or is he small? What breed do you think this is? If you guessed Dachshund, then you're correct. Dachshunds are really known by their nickname, the wiener dog. And the reasons that they're called that is because they look like a hot dog. They have very long bodies and very short legs. And you'll see with this Dachshund in the book that that's true. So let's sit down, put on our listening ears, and learn about the Dachshund as he goes on a very fun adventure. Short Adventures of a Long Dog by Jessica Neal. It was a bright day for a walk in the sunny park, a sunshine day for a dog with a funny bark. Chirp, chirp, heard the dog from a tree. In a nest sang not one bird, but three. Down the pathway rode his best friend on a bike. His name was not Spot or Fluffy, but Mike. Mike greeted him friendly and the dog wagged his tail, riding off to deliver the neighborhood's mail. The dog had to go. He smelled something sweet. Off to the ice cream man who always gave him a treat. Something that tastes better than a meaty bone. Free scoops of ice cream on a vanilla cone. I don't believe we've met before, said the dog and held out his paw. Quack, quack, yelled one. Quack, quack, cried another. That's the dog who barked at my brother. He saw something bouncing and round and red, and some boys were kicking it with their feet and their head. Woof, woof, he barked while chasing the ball. He tried to bite it, but his mouth was too small. He heard four loud dog voices coming from afar, a bulldog, two pugs, and one with a scar. They started talking about the fastest car around, their owners, babies, and the prettiest lady hound. Something came flying out of the sky. There it goes again, soaring so high. I've got to have it and grab it. What could it be? Said the owner, hey dog, give us back our frisbee. After all the excitement, he felt his tummy rumble. He wanted meaty dishes or an apple crumble. Hot dogs, hot dogs, he heard someone yell. From a food cart came an amazing smell. He couldn't wait to try the yelling man's food. A sausage in a bun, it tastes so good. I don't know why they call it a dog that's hot. It tastes much better than tacos, I kid you not. A drop of rain fell on the dog's nose, on his ears, his back, and his hairy toes. When he looked up, he saw with his doggy eyes, cats and dogs raining from the skies. On that rainy day, he made many mates, a green frog he met at the park's steel gates, a white dove named Pearl, and a snail called Andy. He really liked meeting a lady dachshund named Mandy. Soaking wet, he had a moment to ponder about his perfect day for a dog to wander. He stood on all fours and started to wiggle to dry his fur coat. Then he started to giggle. In front of him sat a giggling rival. What a way to make a sneaky arrival. Sorry, cat, I cannot stay and talk. Love to see you, but I've got to walk. All came to a standstill when the dog did see the most alluring colors of pink, yellow, and green. On his nose sat a butterfly so stunning and bright. She flew away gracefully with the wind like a kite. After a very long day of running in the park, the sun was setting. It was getting dark. It was time to leave and go home to rest. 
He wanted to see his owner. She is the best. What a good day, the dog happily said. His owner gave him a pat on the head. Curling up, he settled in for the night, smiling and thinking, this feels so right. The end. This adventure was fun because we got to see a dachshund and different breeds of dogs. For example, we saw him meet a pug, bulldog, even a Labrador. All of these dogs look different. And that's what's a great thing about Paws to Read. We have the opportunity to read a bunch of books and see different breeds of dogs. What kind of breed of dog do you have at home? Share with us, let us know. Maybe we can find some books that look like your dogs and then read them together. Thanks for tuning into Paws to Read. Hope to see you next week.